you are watching in jana kannada tv dear enlightened audience of jana kannada tv media youtube channel namaste we shushinkadi ayuli and jagdish yamunkal bring you special media coverage of the open day event organized by the institute of national importance that is the national forensic sciences university the only campus in south india located at darwad in karnataka state many pre university courses or 12th standard science students and their parents are unaware of the bright career opportunities available at national and international levels both in government departments like forensic laboratories and teaching forensic science subjects and CID, COD, CBI and other premier institutions of investigations and private sector detective agencies. So come, let's watch this episode of an interview by Shivashankar D.I. Ayoli, co-founder and associate editor of Jana Kannada TV Media YouTube channel with the director of National Forensic Sciences University, Dharwad campus, Professor Dr. Manjinath Ghatay. <laughs> ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಜನಕನ್ನಡ ಟಿ ವಿ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮದ ನೆಚ್ಚಿನ ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೇ ನಾನು ಶಿವಶಂಕರ್ ಡಿ ಎಮ್ಮಿ ನನ್ನ ಜೊತೆ ನನ್ನ ಸಹೋದ್ಯೋಗಿ ಜಗದೀಶ್ ಮುಲ್ಕಲ್ ಇವತ್ತು ಒಂದು ವಿಶೇಷವಾದ ಸಂದರ್ಶನಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಕೇಳಿರ್ತೀರಾ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೇಳಿರ್ತೀರಾ ಅದೇ ತರ ಒಂದು ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಅದನ್ನು ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಧಾರವಾಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ವಿಷಯ ಬನ್ನಿ ಹಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರ ಜೊತೆ ನಾವಿದ್ದೇವೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸರ್ ತಮ್ಮ ಪರಿಚಯ ನಾನು ಮಂಜುನಾಥ್ ಗಾಟೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಧಾರವಾಡ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಫೊರೆನ್ಸಿಕ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಧಾರವಾಡ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ ನ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಹೋಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೈಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಧಾರವಾಡ Uh, yes. since last two years yes so what do you have to say about this particular university and what are the courses that are available to the aspirants uh, or students yeah this university started in uh, darwad uh, in uh, 2023 uh, by bhumi pujan happened uh, at uh, in front of agriculture university Sir. campus by shri amit shah ji uh, minister of home, home affairs yes. government of india and from there we started the university in uh, june we started our courses we came here in the uh, by june uh, july uh, around uh, this transit campus valmi campus and we started two courses that is bsc msc in forensic science with the intake of 30 it is a five years integrated program then btech mtech in uh, computer science major in cyber security with an intake of 30 mm-hmm. so from 2023 we started this two core programs at darwad campus and it was a first uh, campus at south india oh and uh, now we are going to start one more campus that is in chennai mm-hmm. so we will have two campuses in uh, south india from so, this year so the people from north karnataka especially the hubli darwadians can probably say that this is the only institute in the entire south india as of now until such time the chennai campus yes, yes 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 all okay. right so uh, who are all eligible to get admission into this particular course coveted course so this bsc msc and btech mtech so after 12th so uh, science graduate science uh, stream students they are eligible to take it only the science students yeah science, science students, students they are eligible. yes yes uh-huh. because this kind of course involves Uh, knowledge of physics chemistry biology, biology. that's the reason why yeah. only the science yeah. students are yeah. encouraged yeah. to or allowed to enter it yes course. it's But a then science then, discipline yeah. course science and uh, course. physics chemistry maths biology these are requirement so. for these courses and again another one is computer science it's a major in cyber security again maths is required yeah. so physics chemistry and maths mm-hmm. these are the I believe most of the parents are unaware of such courses available because most of the people are aware about the NEET examination, the medical entrance that happens at the national level yeah. or the engineering uh, examination that happens to the uh, Many people may not be aware. Yes. So that's also one reason why with Jana Kanada TV we are here in your campus. Of course, you've done some coding programs recently. 
In fact, also a lot of people asked several questions, doubts, and got answers as well. So, I through this interview, we are trying to spread a message among the parents as well that they need to visit this campus once. They need to uh, inquire about the future for their kids uh, through this discipline and then get admission into this particular course. But what are the conditions? Are they, do they have any entrance examination for this? Yes, so that's why right. today we organize this open day program. Sir. So any parents or the students, they can come and visit us yeah. and find out what all things are there in the forensic science area and what is the topic of studies or the curriculum, everything they can understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also exhibited some of this uh, crime scenes mm -hmm. and how to investigate. Mm -hmm. And also the cyber security area also we have uh, exhibited some of these things so so that they can understand about this course. Mm -hmm. And now the, we have the, everything is online, mm -hmm. so they can get information from the website, mm -hmm. National Forensic Sciences University website. And uh, they can apply. Now the uh, admission is open. Uh, the last date for admission is May 5th. And once they register and apply for this, they have to select the campus and they have to give the uh, our entrance exam. That is NFAT examination, NFAT, FAT. So National Forensic Admission Test. So once they clear this admission test mm -hmm. based on the merit, Mm -hmm. They are admitted to this campus or the other campus. We have nine campuses across India, yeah, across India mm -hmm. so that they can also get admission in the other campuses. Mm -hmm. And they can select Darwad campus if they like to study at Darwad campus. And we have two programs. Mm -hmm. So in these two programs, they can select any one. But then, sir, I've also heard that there are six months certificate course. Yeah, I mean, professional. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is a, yeah. It is other course we are offering. It is a just certificate course, course. Mm -hmm. a professional uh, mm -hmm. diploma in crime scene management. Mm -hmm. So that is also other course. They can that is for the professionals. professionals. Yeah, existing professionals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they should be science graduate mm -hmm. and they are working somewhere. Those mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. like to take this course. They can also think mm -hmm. about taking this course. The reason why I asked this question is because these days there are several detective agencies working out there in the private sector. Yes, and they are also employing people. And for a person to get uh, knowledge of the scientific method of investigation, these certificate courses really do uh, become help, uh, helpful. Yes. Is that right, sir? Yes, yes, yes. it's right. Mm -hmm. Because they can uh, uh, investigate sure. uh, how the crime has happened. They can understand about the crime scene. What are the different instruments which are available mm -hmm. to find out? You might have seen today right. there are different instruments mm -hmm. which are required. Now the criminals are becoming more and more uh, advanced. advanced, so that uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, we also investigators also should become advanced, mm -hmm. so that we can find out how the crime happened, everything. Mm -hmm. So that's why this course is. So they will get. Uh, the some of these science graduates can get mm -hmm. how the investigation it is not like other science mm -hmm. that they need to have the creative mind to understand about this mm -hmm. so for the benefit of our audience who know only canada yeah. since you or you also know canada yes, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, can we know the native place of yours sir I am from Bangalore. You are from Bangalore. Yeah. You speak such a good English yeah. Canada. Yeah. So, you can hear it. 